Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my tutorial on in silico drug discovery. So this is the first tutorial and I have made this tutorial particularly for the beginner. As you see, the title is a beginner's guide to in silico drug discovery. And uh, for this tutorial, no previous expertise or experience is required in the field of in silico drug discovery. But I suggest that beginner should watch this video from the beginning and till end. And I will uh, sequentially upload several other tutorials. And you should watch this tutorial in a sequential manner to gain some knowledge about the in silico drug discovery process. So uh, let's have a look. What is a drug? So drug or therapeutic drug is also known as medications or medicines. And these medicines are used to treat or prevent different kind of disease. So when we get sick and we visit to the doctor, doctor uh, gives us different kind of medicines. But do you know how do they work? What is the mechanism of action uh, of these drugs? And that, that part is the most uh, uh, interesting thing. So, uh, these drug molecules are actually different kinds of organic compounds. And these organic compounds are synthesized in the laboratory. Here I have selected five uh, drug molecules for representation. The first is pantoprazole, diclofenac, selmisartan, atorvastatin, and ciprofloxacin. These drugs are very common. People commonly use this drug to treat different kind of medical conditions. So you see they are actually a small molecule, small organic molecule. So uh, when we consume those, these drugs or we take these drugs and these drugs is administered in our body through different routes like oral routes or sometimes intramuscular injection or intravenous injection. So when these drugs enter in our body, uh, they are distributed or transported to different parts of our body where they bind to their target molecules. And mostly the target molecules are different kinds of protein molecules which are present in our body. After some time, these drugs are metabolized and they are excreted out from our body through urine. So sometimes the unabsorbed drug uh, may be passed out through stool. So this is the pharmacokinetic of the drug. That means how the drug enter in our body and how they uh, transport it to different parts of our body and how ultimately they are excreted out from our body. So uh, what is the mechanism of action of these drugs? So therapeutic drugs are usually cellular pathway inhibitors or more specifically protein inhibitors. So you see in case of pantoprazole, which is one kind of antacid, it inhibits a proton pump which is present in our stomach. So proton pump, this protein actually transports H plus ion into the stomach. They import H plus ion into the stomach. Uh, and that's how the pH of the stomach becomes low and the stomach becomes acid. So pantoprazole, when bind to this proton pump, the proton pump is inhibited at it can no longer pump the H plus ion into the stomach. The second example is diclofenac. You know it's a very popular uh, painkiller. This diclofenac actually binds with a enzyme which is known as COX or cyclooxygenase. And this enzyme is responsible for synthesis of prostaglandin and ultimately responsible for the pain sensation. So diclofenac binds and inhibits the COX so that it no it can no longer uh, synthesize the prostaglandin and the pain sensation is gone next is telmisartan a very popular anti hypertensive drug so it used to treat the high blood pressure so actually it's the one kind of receptor angiotensin 2 receptor blocker the next in sequence is atorvastatin which is the enzyme HMGCR inhibitor and this enzyme is the first enzyme in the cholesterol biosynthetic pathway. 
So when atorvastatin inhibits this enzyme, the cholesterol synthesis is stopped. Finally, another example is this different kinds of antibiotics. So antibiotics are the drug molecule which binds to the essential proteins of bacteria. So bacteria require this protein for their activity. So when the antibiotics bind to these protein molecules, they inhibit the function of the protein molecules and that's how the bacteria ultimately die. So you see in most cases, the drug molecules are actually different kinds of protein inhibitors. So protein may be a proton pump or different kind of structural protein or enzyme or several other kinds of protein. So in in silico drug discovery, there are mainly two components. One is drug, another is protein molecule. So protein molecule is actually the target and drug molecules, they are actually inhibitor. And in most cases, the drug molecule actually inhibit the function of the protein molecule. So uh, for understanding the process of drug discovery, uh, you first learn or you should have basic knowledge about the different kinds of proteins. Okay, so I will show you uh, through animation different kinds of protein molecules and their activity. Uh, how do they work in our body? How do they function? So through a, a animated video, I, will, I am going to show you the function of different kinds of protein molecules. Few examples, okay. So uh, this is a transporter protein, which is transporting the ions across plasma membrane. And this is the ribosome. Ribosome is a protein complex which binds with the mRNA and translates to synthesize the protein molecule or peptide chain. This uh, blue color receptor proteins are present on the cell surface as you can see. And this yellow color ligand is binding with the receptor protein. And after formation of the receptor ligand complex, the receptor is uh, become activated. This is a, a vida which binds with the cell surface with the help of some receptor proteins which are present on the cell surface. So uh, how uh, these proteins, that's how this protein works. So you see the most important biomolecule in our body is the protein molecule because every function everything in our body is regulated by the protein molecule. Each protein molecule has its unique role. Sometimes more than one protein molecule, they express one feature or trait. Suppose the enzymes of a metabolic pathway. Suppose we have glycolysis and glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm and several enzymes are involved in the glycolysis pathway. So they together, they uh, actually regulate the breakdown of carbohydrate molecule or glucose into the pyruvic acid. So every trait or every feature in our body is regulated by the protein molecule. Now you may say the uh, DNA is the most important biomolecule. Yes, obviously, but uh, DNA contains the code or the genes or the information how to synthesize this protein molecule. Actually, DNA carries the information how to synthesize the protein molecule and the work which are actually done by the protein molecule. So protein molecules are actually work horses. Now, in case of drug design, you see the target is to discover or identify organic compounds which can inhibit the function of different protein molecules. And each drug has its own target. Sometimes drugs are multi-targeted. They can act on different protein molecules. Okay. So what is in silico drug discovery? In case of in silico drug discovery, everything is done in virtual environment. That means nothing is real. Like in case of animation, as we have seen already, that the protein molecules or RNAs, which I have shown you, they are actually animated, 
but they are behaving like the original uh, biomolecule so in case of computer simulation we use the cartoon models of drug molecule and protein molecule to see their interaction everything is done in virtual environment not in real environment so cartoon models are generated of protein molecule and drug molecule then whether this drug binds with the protein molecule this is tested through computational method so several different types of methods are there different software can be used but the main target is to identify drug molecule which could strongly bind with the protein molecule and can inhibit the function of the protein molecule and that's all about the in silico drug discovery process but uh, uh, before discussing the different kinds of software which are used in in silico drug discovery you should have basic idea about the structure of the protein molecule this is very important so first you should know about the structure of the different drug molecules and protein molecules and the function of this protein molecule and in a next video or subsequent video uh, i will explain about the structure of the protein molecule if you don't uh, uh, know about the structure of the protein molecule it will be very difficult to interpret anything so uh, that's all for uh, this tutorial and in next tutorial i will explain about the structure of the protein molecule thank you